today I have a video for you. It's a formation squad breakdown. Basically, today I'm going to be touching on the 352. It's the first formation. I'm going to do all of them. Um, so let's get to it. So I'm basically going to talk about everything that the formation does, like what kind of player you should put in the formation and so forth and so on okay um so here basically these are three five two have two strikers one cam left mid right mid no center mids you have cdm's who hang below the center half line and you have three center backs and a goalkeeper okay um goalkeeper doesn't really matter who you put there it's gonna perform like a goalkeeper so we're going to just put any goalkeeper there, just for the hell of it. So we're going to put Casillas there, whatever. Um, at center back, you want to have really fast center backs. And you also want to avoid center backs with high attacking in this work rates, in this formation. Because there are three back there, you don't want one of them to go up the pitch. And you're only going to have two defenders back there. Even though you do have two CDMs, but the CDMs, depending on their work rates, also push up the pitch. They push up the pitch. So if you have two CDMs pushing up and your center backs pushing up also, on counter attacks, you're only going to have two center backs, which is a problem. So we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to add a few center backs with medium attacking and high defensive. High defensive is very important. You can also use medium, medium, that's fine. But high is the best. High defensive, medium attacking. If you wanna find out how to check their work rates, you can go on your player bios during the game or you can go on foothead.com and check it out. Um, we're gonna go with Cellini here. This club is not gonna have any chemistry, but that's totally fine. Um, we're gonna go with Cellini. We're gonna put Tiago Silva. And we're not gonna put Ramos in there because he has high attacking, so which is not good. But we're going to put Day Day there, okay? They have medium attacking and high defensive, so they most of the time they stay back. Once in a while, they might work up, but that's fine, okay? Next, we're going to put in our CDMs. At this position, you wanna have CDMs with medium attacking and high defensive, okay? Um, or they can have high high if they're really pacey, i.e. Ramirez, he's really pacey, so we can put him there. He has high attacking, high defensive, so he's good. Next, we want to put in another guy with medium attacking and high defensive. So I'm going to put in, let's see who I'll put in. I'll put in... Javi Alonso, he's a technical, he's a CDM, so you can see his stats. You want people good on defense, that's not what we're going to do there. See, he has 85 defending, good, he's not that pacey, doesn't matter. He gets covered by all these guys around him, and also the right mid. At right mid, you want to have somebody pretty pacey, not anybody like this, but you want to have somebody pacey that can run up, crossing, down, up and down, crossing the ball. Once somebody is fast, that can cover the flanks. So that's pretty good. You want that. Um, next, you want a left mid that's pretty fast also. Just like your right mid. If, if they're not too good at passing, they can. They have to be good at crossing. Okay? Because you, you want to be able to cross the ball to your strikers. So technically, you want they have to be fast. Lucas, you see, 93 pace, very fast. Good 82 passing, pretty good. You know, all the same thing. And they don't need to be great finishes inside the box, but long shots have to be pretty good. You want them to have good long shots. Um, but technically, that's your back right there. That's your midfield. See, this formation is good for possession play, counter attacks. Good defense, actually strong defense, because when you're on, when you're under when you're under fire, him, him, him are back there. And because these guys are good on defense and have high defensive work rates, they also slide back into the pitch. They slide back. So you basically have five defenders instead of your traditional four in the back. 
okay because they're CDMs they don't stay above the pitch they stay behind the pitch really close to your center backs okay next you have a cam your cam should be good at passing doesn't have to be really fast because it's surrounded by really fast guys you see and your strikers are fast too he doesn't you can put somebody as slow as Ronaldinho there but they should be pretty good at passing okay so you want to you want somebody like that good at passing good in it good at passing good at defending stuff like that you know a total your cam should be a very well balanced player not just really pacing and can do nothing else you want it to be good at everything basically making a decent team and next we're gonna put in strikers okay your strikers should be good everywhere literally shooting sprinting heading okay because on this formation you're gonna get a lot of a lot of a lot of good heading opportunities so we're gonna put in Ronaldo and striker you know there's no chemistry that's fine and we're gonna put in let's see who else we have good in the air we're gonna put him in from Pato in. okay you want them to be good in the air because in this formation you, you tend to go left right he gets the wings wingers midfielders get the ball a lot so you want to be able to run down the pitch cross it in get a header in get a header in okay you want to be able to do that you know well right now with this team you can win I'm pretty sure a ton of games because it's a well-balanced team one guy with high high one guy with medium high and don't let me forget you need fast defenders back there okay don't put Puyo and PK in 3-5-2 because if I have a team with strikers this fast they're not gonna stop me it's just gonna be lob in the air and get the ball and score so you don't want that um, you want fast fast 82 pace 81 pace 81 pace 80 pace good and you also want good heading okay on your player 80 and above 79 is bearable and if it's for David Luiz's case because he's OP 77 heading is fine um, but technically this is this is how you want your 352 teams be if you want me to touch on any more formations make sure you leave a comment subscribe catch you in probably tomorrow in another video but yeah hopefully I, I basically try to let you know what to expect what to make your team oh yeah before I forget make sure your guy your left mid and your right mid have medium defensive at least medium defensive if not high high medium defensive and good long shots okay you have that you have that you want these guys to have good long shots your CDMs also good long shots good header you defend you'll be fine you'll be able to win a lot of games if you're more of a possession style player you can have slow strikers and just pass this formation is good for passing also um yeah so basically that's it go ahead and try the 352 don't be scared the defense is actually very good and it's my favorite formation nigerian gamer here signing out peace